Good morning, everybody. Lulu's giving you a little downward dog here. We are down in my basement and we are getting ready to pull over $600 worth of sales that I received over the past couple of days. This sold in a bundle. I picked this up at a warehouse recently. Um, and this is a We The Free jacket. I had this listed at $149. It is new with tag. And ori uh, originally it was $178. So somebody put this in a bundle with a scarf that I pulled down over here that I purchased probably a year or two ago at like a discount store. And they put this scarf in the bundle. I paid $3 for this. I paid $20 for the jacket. They sent me an offer for $139, which I accepted. These, by the way, are the softest, softest scarves. Um, I still have one left in this color. And yeah, it's just so nice. I accepted that offer, so $139. We have some high price sales today going out, which is exciting. This is probably over the course of two or three days. Next up is the Johnny Was dress that I just featured in the haul from my very generous neighbor. If you haven't caught that yet, my neighbor gave me eight bags of clothing. These are all from that haul, all these dresses. But in there was this Johnny Was dress. It's stretchy. I'm, I'm sure it's probably an older style, but it is so nice. It's a maxi dress. I listed it for $139. One of my repeat buyers, Christine, thank you, offered me $100. So Johnny Was, not bad since this was a freebie. Yeah, I've already sold a few things from that haul, um, which I think I'll probably do a follow-up video and I'm definitely going to list some of my Talbots things because so many people raved about how much they love Talbots. So I'm going to list some. This was kind of my maybe pile right here. This is the St. John dress that was damaged. Talbot skirts, Talbot dresses. So I am going to list some of those. This is a beautiful linen floral top made in Italy. This sold on um, eBay. There was a lot of interest on this. I think I received... A lower offer on Poshmark. Somebody DM'd me about it, but in the meantime, it had sold for $30 on eBay. I listed it for $38 and received a $30 offer. That was really beautiful. I was kind of hoping to wear that <laughs> before I sold it, but off it goes. All right, next is a bundle. I don't even remember purchasing these pants. I mean, I kind of do, but this is definitely a tag that would have prompted me to look up this brand. Very different. It's 100% linen. They're just a very basic pair of tan pants. I think I had them listed for 45 or 65. I'll have to look. Um, but this sold in a bundle with a purse from Jessica McClintock that was vintage. The brand is by ValerieGregoryMackenzie.com. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of this brand. This is definitely my first time picking this up, but really happy that these sold. Let me grab that purse now. All right, it took me a while to get my hands on this one. It was um, located in a place I don't typically put my bags, but I finally found it. This is a Jessica McClintock vintage little black diamond quilted purse. Don't mind the ink on my hands. Um, it looks so lovely. I love the trim on it. And yeah, two nice pieces. That was an interesting little bundle. So I just looked, I had this priced at $28. I had the pants priced at 45 and my buyer offered me $62, which was a very fair offer. On the pinball machine we go. What's next? What are you doing, pretty? You're such a good assistant. You're such a good helper, Lou. Since we're talking about Jessica McClintock, this is just such a stunning dress. I'm obsessed with it. I tried to send this to the real real. I don't really want to unfold it because it was perfectly folded. It has a little bit of light boning in here. I just want to show you the tag if I can get to it. So this is technically Jessica McClintock gunny sacks, but not in the way any of us think about gunny sacks. It's a USA size three. This is just an absolutely timeless, gorgeous dress. Uh, I tried to send this to the real real and they wouldn't accept it. And then I had it listed for like 125 and I received like a $77 offer. My buyer still hasn't paid on eBay, um, but I have faith that they will. So I'm grabbing it now and fingers crossed that they will pay for it. I think it's so funny that I had two vintage Jessica McClintock pieces ship out in the same day. I think I only have three Jessica McClintock in my entire inventory to different buyers on different platforms. And this lighting's terrible over here. I'm down on the floor because I'm looking for a pair of boots. Scoot your bum bum over, Lulu. Lose them in there? No, I've put myself on a strict diet when it comes to ankle boots because I have so many. And I just feel like they 
They move, but they don't move so quickly. And they are hidden in so many parts of my basement. I'm looking for a pair of Lucky Brand boots and they have, uh, you know what they're gonna be, don't you? And this scary, scary wall. You know, oh, there they are. That wasn't even bad. These sold for $34 and they did have like a little wear on the toes. They are a size eight and a half. These look like maybe I picked them up at the bins, not sure. Uh, but gosh, my dream is to just not have anything on my floor here. <laughs> I don't mind the shelves, like that's manageable. Okay, $34. That didn't even take too long, Lulu Marie. Let's put these on the steps. All right, I'm looking for RX3 and 7. I don't think Tina needs these anymore. She's a pro. Okay, one more thing from Kathy's haul. Uh, that's not it. It's this, this unique glow button-down shirt. I listed it for $25, and I got a $20 offer for it on eBay. It's new with tag. $29.90 is the price tag on it. And yeah, her stuff is moving, Lulu. It's moving, girlfriend. Pretty exciting. Lulu, you're probably in the worst spot right now. I have to step over you to grab everything. You're so funny. All right, next item. Another item from that warehouse sale. This was a kimono that, you know, I picked up and I anticipated it would sell for about $50 or $60. Then when I looked at comps, people had them listed at over $150, $160. Where the heck is it? HQ. Oh, it's got to be in here. Okay. Um, so I listed mine for $150. Somebody offered me $40. I didn't even respond because the comps were crazy and I was the only one that had this piece listed. Uh, then she came back at $70 and I was just like busy at the hospital with my dad and like, I don't know. So I think I responded with $120 or something like that. Anyways, we went back and forth a couple times. We landed on $95 and it's beautiful. Uh, it's intimately free. It's this gorgeous caftan, very rare. Probably could have held out for more. However, um, I think I paid like 15 to $25 for this. So $95 was okay by me. And hopefully this person really enjoys this amazing caftan. I'll show you a picture of it because obviously I'm not doing it justice in this pile. All right, my least favorite thing to pull from inventory, Lulu, is jeans, right? How come? How come? Because there's so many of them. <laughs> Tina said that the my 30s and 31s and 32s down there, which I'm usually looking for, is like packed. Oh boy. <laughs> you are literally in front of the bin I'm trying to get to. Can you move, please? I have to get into this bin. <laughs> I sold the Madewell Rigid Demi Boot Cut Jeans, and I need to look through this whole pile, so give me a minute, friends. That wasn't so bad, despite your efforts to keep me out of this bin. Here we go, Madewell. These are the Rigid Demi Boot Crop in a size 26. I had these listed, I think around 60, and I got a $45 offer, so yes, when you look at how many jeans I have, oh my gosh, these are so awesome. I got these at the warehouse sale. They're so cool. Um, yeah, these are just, I have so many. These cowgirl up jeans, I don't think I'll ever buy those again. I have to do one of my top five videos on brands or categories that I'm going to leave behind. I don't know. Would you guys prefer brands or categories or what? You know I won't be able to stick to five. That'll end up being a intentional 10-minute video that ends up being 30 minutes. I think that might be it. I got to check eBay one last time couple more actually I just looked back I forgot about some okay next up is this bundle that I sold which included this tank top from the designer Jude Connolly I don't think I've ever picked her stuff up before this is just kind of a halter style tank paisley pattern um, that I paid five dollars for at that crazy store where I walked into the surprise sale and everything in the store was five dollars and they were like a designer consignment store that video is a lot of fun so I took a chance on this because it only was five dollars and in the end it sat for a while I don't think I would pay much more than five dollars but I probably would pick it up again this and a cashmere tank top uh, leopard pattern sweater 
uh, from an estate sale from 2021 back in December. So it's been with me for 13 months. Those two items sold for $55, but I think I had the bundle priced at about 68 or 75, but I was really happy with the 55 because uh, my cost of goods was low on this one. All right, I spared you the digging for this one. Um, this is a Saks Fifth Avenue cashmere animal print tank top in that like snow leopard pattern. Um, yeah, so those two items sold for $55. Both have been around for longer than I want them. So yeah, someone's getting these fun patterns sent their way. Are you done, Lulu? <laughs> You're not even waiting down here anymore. I'm almost done. I have one more thing to grab. All right, last up is this little Y2K blouse from Jones, New York. That sold for $18. Where are you? Okay, found it. It's really pretty. This was definitely a bins pickup or some something like that. And it's super lightweight. It's 100% silk. I like to pick up these vintage pieces. I love dark florals. It's a great, um, great fabric. Super lightweight. And yeah, sold for $18. I probably paid a dollar. All right, that wraps up the sales. Let's go upstairs, add everything up, and see how much I'm sending out here today. And try to get my act together before mail pickup comes. So update, right? Uh, they never came to pick up my packages. I'm so annoyed. And so we are going to the post office and I just made another bundle sale. I have 15% off if somebody bundles three or more items. So they bundled another piece from my neighbor's haul, which was a Bowden sweater and a couple other items. And they took the 15%, I think it was an $88 sale. So let's go see what sold. You coming Lou? Where'd you go? I guess she went away. All right, let's go find it. All right, I keep most of my sweaters over here. This I had priced at $50, so they got the automatic 15% off. I was really excited when I saw this. Oh, I gotta be careful. Those buttons are banging on Jay's vintage pin bot. Poor thing. I always use this as a storage. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these buttons were really cute. It was a cute little cardigan. Uh, old tag Bowden, but it was a size 14, which um, older tags only show the UK sizing. So I believe a 14 is a size 10. The newer Bowden tags will have US and uh, UK sizing. So that's how you can kind of tell if it's a newer or older tag. Please correct me if I'm wrong. That's my understanding. All right, let's see what else is in this bundle. It looks like what I'm looking for is right there. No, Lou. This is a Woolrich Women Double XL. It's like a really nice kind of oversized high-low um, button down. And then there was a Pendleton t-shirt that was in here as well. This is just a real basic t-shirt. Um, I think I priced it at $22. And I just love Pendleton, just really good quality. It's It's been here for a bit. Looks like a men's large in this nice cinnamon color. And it just has this very minimalist Pendleton little leather tag there for branding. So Woolrich Pendleton uh, Bowden bundle. $88 and some change was the price. And here we go. And I think I'm gonna scooch out now and bring everything to the post office since my guy never picked up. Hi friends, how's everybody doing? Um, it's been a couple of days and I just wanted to update you on my sales from that day. Lulu, I don't know if you noticed her limping or like how she was like just sitting in certain areas. She got bit by a tick. She already has Lyme, which is pretty prevalent here in the Northeast, but she couldn't walk and she still can't walk today. It was like progressively getting worse. And then today she just couldn't move at all. She had a fever. I could feel that she was warm. I'm trying to let you know what she has. She has something called anaplasmosis. So she is on an antibiotic, um, but I'm carrying her around from room to room. The poor little thing. This has been like my little Lulu video because she was in the beginning of this as I was editing. I'm like, oh my God, she's in, she's in so much of this video. And I was like trying to observe her because she was just going downhill day by day. So they said she should be better in like two to three days and start showing more mobility and stuff but she's literally like a little lump on a log. Her back legs just, they just don't work at all, at all. 
she's so sweet. So I'm laying low today, but I figured I would wrap up this video for you. I meant to do it yesterday. So the buyers never paid for that satin dress. I'm including that dress in these numbers, but we may have to subtract that. Between the two platforms, I sold $684.40 on Poshmark, and that included sales from January 18th to January 21st. One sale that I didn't include um, that happened after I shot the video was a Lily Pulitzer sleeveless, like pink dress. Um, hi, pretty. It sold for $48. So in those $684.40, I sold 15 items. There were four bundles in those um, sales, and my average selling price was $45.63. On eBay, all of my sales came in on January 20th. That was the Uniqlo shirt that sold for 20, the linen shirt that sold for 30, both from my neighbor, and then the um, Jessica McClintock vintage dress that sold for $77. Um, so that was $127. My average selling price on eBay was $42.33. In total, my sales were $811. I just think I got lucky with some of the higher price sales, like a um, couple of the free people items that sold, and of course the Johnny Was dress. So that was a really good weekend for me and I'm grateful for that because life has been crazy. There was one cancellation that I didn't talk about, a pair of Steve Madden boots that somebody, they were like blue velvet heels that somebody purchased and then they canceled like almost immediately so I didn't include it. But there was also an Abercrombie like faux fur lined jacket that I think was Angelina's and it sold for $76 and I can't find it. I didn't include that just because I hadn't found it at the time that I filmed the video and I probably um, may, I may have to cancel that. I, the only place I haven't looked is through Angelina's closet. I don't know why it would have made its way back up there, but anyways, there's potential I sold it on another platform and I just haven't had the time to go and look. So those are my sales. I was hoping this was gonna be a ship and shop video, but it ended up being a ship with me video with ship with me and Lulu Marie. <laughs> um, and I'm so happy we figured out what was going on with her. Hopefully she will be back to herself in a few days. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you like what sold videos and thrift hauls and adventures in thrifting, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. As always, I so appreciate your support and I'll be back real soon with another video. Bye. Lulu, say bye. Let's lift you up. Oh, you little baby girl. There, say bye. Bye to everybody. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you.